So hiya, welcome back to my channel. Um, I can't believe that we're actually standing here recording a proper YouTube video, but alas, here we are, it's not a vlog. Um, this is my vegan skincare routine. <laughs> so I hope you've been enjoying those vlogs. Um, my channel isn't just going to be dedicated to those vlogs, I am planning on getting some more normal videos out. So I hope that you I'm looking forward to seeing those videos. Um, this is one of them. <laughs> um, it's been so long since I've done this. I think it's been about a year. Oh, that's weird. So, as we all know, climate change is a thing. Animal rights are a thing. So veganism is a thing. And um, actually, it's not just in your diet that you can be vegan. You can be vegan in other areas of your life as well. Um, ob obviously, that's the whole point of veganism. Um, but one of the big areas to look out for that people don't always look out for is beauty and cosmetics. Um, and so today I'm going to be focused on a skincare routine that I do, because as you all know, I've got the most amazing skin in the world. Yeah, but it's going to be cheap, it's going to be affordable, so let's get into it. So I currently use three different skincare brands in my skincare routine at the moment. And they are all accessible from either Boots or Superdrug, which currently are doing a 10% student discount, I believe. So if you're a student, get on in there. For the most part, there's one brand that has a few things that are over £10, but they're all under £10 each for each item. And they are all regularly on offer. So I'm going to start off with the first brand, which is the Naturally Radiant Superdrug own brand skincare. Um, these products are regularly on offer for like buy one, get one free, half price, one third off, something like that. So they're always super, super affordable, five pounds or under. Um, and they have everything in the skincare routine you could possibly want. They've got day and night creams, they've got balms, they've got different types of cleansers, they've got eye creams. The only thing they haven't got is a serum. They have a moisturizer and serum two in one kind of thing, but not as effective as a proper normal um, serum obviously the other brand i use is sukin i think that's how you pronounce it this one is you can only find in boots but it's an australian vegan um brand they're more expensive but they are on offer um quite a lot of the time so if you want to treat yourself but they're on offer they tend to be on offer for under 10 pounds so the last brand is Tea Tree and I don't use any of their cleansers or anything but the thing I do use is the anti-spot stick and sometimes I'll use their nose pore strips as well although I'm looking into making my own one of those. We'll see if we can do a vegan one. Those are three brands I use, all super cheap and affordable, all always on offer in high street stores that you can find. I don't know about America but in the UK, Boots and Superdrug, 10% for students, get those loyalty cards. <laughs> yeah. So. In the morning, I get up, I go to the toilet. You didn't need to know that. But after I've done that and I've washed my hands, always make sure that you wash your hands before touching your face. And even if you're touching your face with a cleanser, I go in with this Sukin Oil Balancing Purifying Gel Cleanser. This one right here. Um, so it's bamboo charcoal, which balances the complexion, removing excess oils with plenty of other stuff and it's for normal to oily skin types. Um, I believe I have combination skin. I might be wrong on my skincare journey. I am finding this stuff out. I just wet my face with some warm water, not too hot because you don't want to dry out your skin. And you put a little bit of this into your hands and then just rub it all over your face and keep rubbing until it's all foamed up. Now you typically want to wash your face between one to two minutes. In the morning, um, I'll do one minute. Sounds like a long time, but it's not that bad, actually. Um, I remember timing myself once and one minute was up before I thought it was. Um, so just hum yourself a little song, pretend that you're doing a YouTube video or something and just roll with it. And then you're gonna wash off your face again with lukewarm, maybe tepid water, slightly cooler. But once you've dried your face, you're gonna wanna go in with a toner. And I use this, again, Sukin Original Hydrating Mist Toner. And I really like this one because it comes in a little spray bottle and I just gently mist it over my face. Um, that is the instructions. I know some people use a cotton pad um, to help. I personally find that I don't like doing that because the cotton pad soaks up a lot of the product so you waste a lot of it. Um, 
and I don't have any problems with my cleanser so I don't feel the need to use a cotton pad on my skin you can if you want to um, yeah and this product has lasted me god knows how long because of the spray on the top so that's very nice and then I once the toner has dried on my face which doesn't take too long um, I go in with my tea tree anti-spot stick and I just gently apply that to the little sections of my face for you it might be one singular spot for me it's just the this zone <laughs> um, and then I just gently um, spread it across rub it in but not too much you want to let it soak in naturally um, I always find that it's best to do a spot treatment after you've done your toner because then you haven't got a bunch of buildup of products on your face so it's as close to the skin as it's going to get to help penetrate properly. <laughs> and then I wait for that to dry and that can take anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes depending on how much you've put on. Um, so this is the time we go eat your breakfast, go do your teeth, whatever. And then I come back and I use the Naturally Radiant which... That's surprising this is the first time I'm using the naturally radiant on my skincare routine because when I first started out back in September building up my skincare routine it was all naturally radiant now I'm getting adventurous <laughs> but anyway yeah so I use the naturally radiant um, day cream um, I use it the one that says normal to combination skin and it has an SPF of 15 in there which is fab we love protecting our skin so I just gently dot that over my face I'll put a little bit on my chin and then start rubbing and you want to go in gentle circular um, motions that go towards the outer side of your face so you're not pulling on your skin um, but just give your skin like a nice little massage this part is really key that you want to be gentle and good but still massage it because what this will do is help to even out your skin tone because it increases regular blood circulation so that you won't get the redness like just in the center of your face you'll help to spread it out if that makes sense um, that is the one thing my skincare routine has done for me is even out my skin tone. Um, I used to be just quite red around there and then maybe a bit around there. Um, and whilst I haven't got perfect, clear, acne-free skin, it is an even tone. In the evening, it's pretty much the same routine, funnily enough. Um, this is just my daily routine. It can get more complex. So in another video, I will do a weekly routine if you're interested in that, where I use a few more products. Um, but in the evening I will double cleanse, that is the key change here, um, because you use one cleanse to get off just the layer of dirt that's on your face, get off your makeup, all that, and then I will do a second cleanse to actually penetrate and clean the skin. So I go back in again with the same gel cleanser, wash it for one minute, um, cleanse for a minute, wash it off and cleanse for another minute, so I'm actually doing it for two minutes this time. Um, so yeah, in the morning one minute, in the evening two minutes, but I'm double cleansing, so cleanse, rinse, cleanse, rinse. So yeah, and then I go in back again with my hydrating toner. Once that is dried, again, back in with the spot stick. You can use that up to one to three times a day, actually. So if in the middle of the day you're finding, ow, my spots are sore, feel free to do it once more, but we do it twice a day. And then, a new addition, the eye cream. Um, I will gently do that under the skin. I'll put two little dots under my eyes rather than doing it directly onto my finger because I feel like I've got better control if I do it that way. And I will use gently the ring finger and just gently go underneath the eyes, rubbing it and then around the eyes as well in circular motions to help stimulate that blood flow again to reduce the um, eye bags underneath. Um, Eye bags are a genetic thing. They are caused by dehydration. They're caused by lack of sleep, stress, so many factors that using eye cream alone isn't gonna heal it. So you need to improve your sleep, drink lots of water, have a healthy diet, cry at your genetics, all that to help improve them. And then this eye cream will just help maintain um, what you've got. It's like the little cherry on top of the cake into helping um, reduce your eye bags. Don't expect it to solve the problem if you're not solving the problem in the core. Tea tree gel has dried. I will then go in with another moisturising cream but instead it will be the nighttime cream. Um, this is the naturally radiant renewing night cream. Don't rub it in between your hands before you put it on your face because then it's going into your hands and not your face. Dot it onto your face and slowly massage it out and keep going. Work your way up your face doing the same. 
and this is Renew and Night Cream. It just, it works a lot better to help rejuvenate your skin slowly overnight. Um, it's a little bit more nourishing than the day cream, but it hasn't got a um, SPF in it. <laughs> Sorry, I just knocked something off my shelf. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's a little bit more nourishing than the day cream, I think, but it hasn't got an SPF in, so don't use it in the morning. You need to use something with an SPF. Um, just, just no arguments with that. So yeah, that's my daily skincare routine. Obviously, um, I've been talking about a weekly skincare routine because there's a couple of things throughout the week that I do to help with my skincare, um, but that's going to make for a very, very long video if I include those. So. <laughs> Um, if you're just starting out getting into a new skincare routine or you're looking for something that's vegan and cruelty free as all of these brands are um, Then yeah, definitely recommend those brands and that routine It's something that's quite nice and simple and easy to get into. I know there's a lot of complicated things you can do um, I know I haven't got a serum in that routine and a lot of people do recommend them, but I personally um, Haven't found one that I get on with yet. I was using one from Superdrug's um, own brand range. It was like the vitamin E range, I think. Um, but I found that it was kind of clogging up my face a bit too much. Um, and all other serums are quite expensive. So I've yet to get into that route. But if you can recommend one to me that is good for combination skin, um, as I'm quite acne prone, um, but it doesn't cost me a fortune, please recommend that down below. I would absolutely love, 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 love that if you could. And yeah, so yeah, that's a beginner's, starter's skincare routine that's also vegan and cruelty free. Um, it's not too complex, it's easy to do. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Um, I quite enjoyed making it, I like it. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say, it's been so long since I've done this. Um, yeah, so, oh, you can let me know if you like this video by liking the video, that would be fab. And um, don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna come out with more content like this. Um, and comment down below if A, you've got any serums you can recommend to me, and B, if you wanna see my weekly skincare routine, which includes the likes of face masks and stuff. I mean, they're exciting. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be coming out with a few more videos like this that are sort of beauty or vegan or something like that related. We'll see where this channel goes, but I'm thinking of heading it down in that direction. So if you subscribed to my 14-year-old um, self's dodgy comedy sketches, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm gonna leave those in the past, I think. <laughs> I have like one or two of those. I'm sure you won't be that broken hearted by them. But yeah. Um, have a good life. I will see you next week, hopefully. Bye!